When using Midjourney, it's easy to get caught up in creating a whole bunch of images and having fun. But what about the different styles? So today I'm going to show you a few different styles with a common theme so you can see the difference and get some cool results using Midjourney. So I've created this image and I've just let Midjourney kind of do its own thing. I haven't added any styles. It's just straight up my prompt. A cute puppy wearing sunglasses and headphones. Now it looks like a painting, but what if I want it to look like a sketch or a photo? Well, what we need to do is add a comma and type in the following phrases to get the following results. Now there are some cool drawing styles you can add to your prompts to get some uh, different looks. Uh, you can start off with something simple like a pencil sketch or even a charcoal drawing. Uh, I also tried playing around after some suggestions from a friend with ink dripping drawing or even just drawn in blue biro. You could even say made up of ink dots and get something different there as well. But you can also change the style of the drawing, something like a comic style, cartoon style, or get completely different, a schematic chart blueprint. And what's cool about this, you can then move on to other things such as animation styles. You can use like a vintage Disney cartoon, a Simpsons style, which doesn't really look like the Simpsons, but you can play with that kind of thing. Or you can go for an anime style or Studio Ghibli if you are a fan of those films. But you can also take it to another level and include artist names. So if you type in Da Vinci technical sketch, you can get something like this. You can get a lot of different results pretty quickly and easily by using your imagination here. Now what about some screen styles you can find on your phone or computer? You can pop in things such as 8-bit or even an emoji to get a particular look. You can also try out ASCII characters, although it doesn't actually create an ASCII characters, it does create a pretty cool effect. You can also try things such as logo design to simplify or even low poly to get a really simple look. I've also tried playing with pixel art, although you don't really get a pixelated look, but you can always pop a mosaic over it in Photoshop if you want to complete the actual pixel look on this, but uh, pretty cool results either way. You can also try some 3D styles such as the Unreal Engine or a Cinema 4D render, or I like to use a lot is Octane Render. You can also combine these and there's a whole bunch more you can use, which I'll actually link to a resource in the description so you can check that out. Now you can also play with photograph styles. We've already mentioned the Polaroid, but there are things such as a vintage found photograph or a World War I found photograph that you can play with. You can also just simply type in photorealism or even if you want to combine the last one with the 3D, realistic 3D render to get some pretty interesting results that way. Now what about things that are in real life? You can work on something like a halftone print if you want a printed effect, but you can also move on into other things such as a cross stitch pattern or some kind of uh, paper cutout or a paper mache to get some pretty cool effects. You can also try statues different types of statues such as a stone statue, a marble statue, or even a statue carved from wax. And you can get some pretty interesting results when you play around with these. The other one you can try if you want to go into the painted realm and the real world is graffiti, which is a really cool look when you combine it and play with other areas of graffiti, not just this one particular look. And now we'll explore a few different sort of painting styles and artists. So you can actually use watercolor to get a watercolor look with your images and to be completely different, a Yukio-e, which is more of a Japanese style. But you can also choose artists like Picasso, or even if you type in his name differently, like Pablo Picasso, you actually get different results because the texturing is different. And the next one you can choose, which is really popular, is HR Geiger, if you're looking for something really different, or Van Gogh to get that sort of look he's known for. Now I recommend actually combining some of these styles to get some good results. Also use descriptive words and phrases that can help change the look as well. So with these ones I've decided to only add in some basics like surreal or psychedelic or bring the colors to life by saying things such as glowing colors or neon sign. You can also pick a visual style such as you know steampunk or cyberpunk if you want to theme it up a bit. Anything you can use your imagination on can help bring your images that little extra bit of style that you might be missing. And if you want to try something to give your images a little extra lift, try da adding dash dash beta. This is just a little uh, beta algorithm you can try out and quite often gives your images a little bit of extra uh, lift to their look. Now remember to be more descriptive and use as many words as possible. If I simply type in imagine dog, I'm probably going to get something pretty ordinary. So we've got a few things here, but they're actually, they're not too bad. But what happens if you want a particular breed? You would then move on and get more descriptive and use more words such as imagine dog, blue healer. And you can see we actually get something that resembles a blue healer because we've used more 
description. And now if I really go to town and combine a bunch of phrases such as this, I say, So now you can see how we've got a little bit of that HR Geiger style. We've got some orange lighting, a little bit more of a 3D render slash photorealistic look, and it does look a bit psychedelic. We can combine styles and use many phrases to really try and come up with something unique and different just by simply putting the time in and thinking of a more descriptive phrase to get better images. Now, if you're looking for even more styles to reference, log into your Mid Journey account and head to the sidebar over here and go down to styles. From there, you can actually go through and explore the different styles and try them out with whatever it is you're trying to create. And the other option is obviously go to your community feed up top here and just see, we've got here the Mandalorian. If I click on that, I can actually see what was used to create that. And if I wanna copy any extra commands that came with that, I can actually go to copy command. When I paste this command, I can see he's also added AR23 to make the aspect ratio two to three. He's used beta and up beta to get that look. So just another way you can sort of steal some phrases and styles to try and match a look if you like it. Now, finally, there is a link to this in the description below. It's a GitHub page, which if you scroll down, there's a whole bunch of styles and areas you can explore. I can go into themes and styles. And if I scroll down again, I can go to things such as digital, rendering engines and see the kind of results I can expect from different rendering engines. And you can go through and explore many of these areas yourself, such as things like Glitchy, Glitch Core, Matrix, uh, all this stuff here. There's so many different references of styles that you can really sort of take your time, explore, and try to uh, see what you can get out of it, especially if you find a style that you really like. And if I go back another page, there's things like lighting as well and material properties. So I can go here to global illumination and see what different types of illumination are available. Global illumination, lumen, global illumination, types of lights, spotlight, floodlight, front light. You can go through and explore all this. So you can try and find a particular look and try to achieve that with mid journey. So uh, otherwise, I hope you found that video useful. I hope it's helped you to sort of improve the uh, images you've been getting on mid journey and if you did like the video please consider giving it a like if you haven't got started with mid journey yet check out the video on the screen right now how to get started with a free trial otherwise I hope to see you again soon have a great day